you, glory Lord. God, on tonight. Glory we thank you. Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to name, another Jesus. day. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Day. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all just keep Hallelujah. visiting them. Hallelujah. Yeah. We Hallelujah. are here Hallelujah. on the fourth day Hallelujah. of the 20th day Jesus. of travailing, yeah. and we are so grateful for being yes. found in this place yes. in history yes. where God has called us to intercede on behalf of the state of the people as well as the state of our nation. Yes. And so we give God corporate praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. We give him glory. We give yes. him honor. Yes, Lord. We give him praise. Glory yes. and honor mm -hmm. belongs to the most high God. Thank yes. You. yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I wish somebody would give God praise. Hallelujah. If you heard the man of God on last night, glory to God. Uh, yesterday's theme was a fresh start. Yes. So we are grateful for what God poured out. Listen, yeah. we have mm -hmm. to begin to thank him as if we are already in the manifestation Amen. of yes. what he said. Man. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to thank, thank you, him Jesus. like yep. we're already there. Yes. 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 Glory hallelujah. to God. Yes. We need to thank him like we're already there. Like we already yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank him like we're Glory already God. there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless his holy name. Yes, Lord. Glory and honor belongs to you, Jesus. the mm -hmm. most high God. Mm -hmm. yes, we God. give him glory. We give him honor. We give him praise. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. in my spirit. Can we Hallelujah. Just come Hallelujah. Come Hallelujah. Oh, God. Thank, Thank you. So Thank you. 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 Thank and a determined praise, glory and honor belongs Thank to you, Jesus. the Most High God. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Yes, Lord. Tonight's Thank theme you. is very timely. It is the principles of Kronos and Kairos. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Discerning the timing of God. Hallelujah. And we are so in tune with the fact that God has called us for this time and season, my prayer is that we don't just have praise, but that we also are anointed like the tribe of Issachar to be sensitive to the times and the seasons of God. Hallelujah. One more time. Can we give the Lord a corporate shout Thank of you. glory? Glory to the most high God. Glory to the most high God. Glory to the most high God. We give him glory. We give him glory. 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 Father, we saturate the atmosphere. Hallelujah. And we thank you that it doesn't take us all day and all night, God, to step into your presence. We feel your presence around us. Hallelujah. And we give the name of God glory. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we give you glory. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I feel something bubbling. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of the yeah. Most High God. Thank and you. we give him glory, honor, and praise for he and he alone is worthy. Now, without further ado, we are here in our fourth night of the 20 day days of travailing. Glory to God. And our this particular week is our first week. By the time we get to the end of this, we're going to be so fat in the spirit, we're going to need a diet. Hallelujah. But we are grateful to be starting this week. Hallelujah. Powerfully and establishing a strong foundation in the person of Prophet Joseph Waller. So at this time, it is my great pleasure 
to turn it over to Prophet Walla. Those of you watching and listening on Facebook, please share us if you can start a watch party and let folks know that we are on tonight and the purpose is to pray in unity. Prophet Walla, we're in your hands. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. It is so good to be on this morning, uh, this evening. And um, I'm just trying to set something up real quick. Um, uh, it's so good to be on this evening and what the Lord is doing and what he's declaring to his people. And um, we thank God um, for um, what he is doing and on this third night. Oh no, uh, is it the, the fourth night? and uh, what he's doing on the fourth night on tonight. And uh, we thank God, amen, for um, the visionary um, of this gathering of this time, Apostle Martin, and thank God for her husband, Pastor uh, Martin, and just all of you, the people of God, all the leadership, and all you in your respective places. Let's look at tonight um, as we um, will begin to um, enter in on tonight. And let's look at a few things. Um, tonight, we're going to deal with principles of Kairos, Kronos and Kairos working together to discern and submit to God's timing and seasons is the purpose. The goal is to raise the consciousness of Kairos moments. Um, Genesis 1, 1 through 14, we're going to read that. And then the prayer strategy is the prayer of discernment, the prayer of discernment. So let's look at Genesis um, chapter number 1, verses 14 through 19. Um, then God said, let their be lights in the expansion or in the expanse of the heaven uh, to separate the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years and let them be for lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so God made the two great lights, the greater light to govern the day, the lesser light to govern the night. He made the stars also. God placed them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth and to govern the day and the night and to separate the light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. There was, there was evening and there was morning a uh, fourth day of fourth day and so we want to look at some um principles on tonight um because i believe um this is a set time this is a set time of god where god is doing great and powerful things um let's give you two definitions just real short definitions of kairos and chronos um, uh, when we deal with um, chronos, we're dealing with a sensation of minutes, a sensation of minutes. So, so chronos time uh, would be uh, you have to be at work from eight thirty to five o'clock. That that is that is kairos time, um, uh, chronos time, but kairos time is the set time. And I want to look at this definition. I think I have it in my notes um, that I was studying and, and I saw this definition um, because I believe we're entering in something great, but we must know the time. We must know the time. We must know the season in what God is doing in the earth realm. And um, here, here, here is the definition of Kairos. Kairos speaks of those strategic times 
in the calendar of God during which events come to accumulation and ripen to usher in a new age or dispensation. I'll say that again for the word kairos. It speaks of those strategic times in the calendar of God, which events come to accumulation, accumulation and ripen to usher in a new age or a dispensation. And I believe we're in the timing of God. We are in the timing of God where, where, where we are seeing change. And, and, and let me tell you something. The earth is changing daily. Change happens in a moment. And we have to learn how, if we're going to embrace Kairos moments, we're going to have to learn how to, how to, literally, how to take advantage of those moments. Um, I want to look at one more scripture. I want to look at two more scriptures. Um, first Chronicles 32. Uh, because we need to be sensitive in this hour that we don't need to miss our moment. Don't miss your moment. You might need to touch yourself tonight and say, Lord, teach me how not to miss my moment because I don't want to miss my moment. I was thinking of an event that happened, I guess, a, a last year sometime I was at the airport and um, I was traveling out and I overheard uh, one of the, it wasn't the airline that I was on, I was on another airline, but on the air, on the, on the airline in the same area, uh, there were two young ladies and I, they were on their way um, somewhere in Florida. Uh, but here at, here at the airport, there were only, there was only like one plane going to that part of Florida a day from that carrier. And what happened, I think they, 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 they stepped away from the gate, got something to eat and they were late and uh, they had missed their boarding time. Though the plane was there, they would not let them on because the gate was closed and the plane was getting ready to take off. So they had to wait until the next day uh, to, to leave the city because uh, that flight only was leaving for one day. I mean, was leaving just one, they had just one flight a day for that part of Florida. So I want us to be encouraged on tonight that we not, must not miss our moment. We must not miss what God is doing in the earth. So let me look at this um, First Chronicles, um, chapter number 12. Um, First Chronicles. chapter 12 and I want to look at verse 32 first chronicles twelve thirty-two. And it says this, it says, um, it talks about the sons of Issachar. We must have an Issachar anointing. If we're going to advance in times like these, we must have a Issachar anointing. Verse 32, of the sons of Issachar, men, men who understood the times, we must understand, we must have insight of the times that we're living in. We must have the insight. If we're gonna take advantage of these moments, these, these divine moments and siege the moments that, that we must have, number one, the understanding of the times, of the times that we're in. You were created for such a time as this and, and, and you are responsible for your time. You are responsible for your time in the earth. You are responsible for your time and you're going to give an account for the things that you did not do during the time that was given to you. And you're also able to, and so we must understand that as people of God, that we cannot afford to waste time. 
We cannot afford to waste time on distractions uh, 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 of delays, uh, of listening to the wrong people, of being lazy and consistent. We can't waste time. And so we must understand the times. And the Bible says with knowledge, we have to have knowledge. We have to have discernment. And people of God, let, let, let me tell you something, because I, I, a, lot of, a lot of people of God are lacking in this hour discernment. The ability to see things the way God sees them. Many of times we are judging people by, by an accurate gift. Uh, 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 but, but you can have accurate, accurate gift, but you're accurate, but, but can be in, can, inaccurate in your character. We understand that, 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 that Saul had a, a, a accurate word in his mouth, but then we see in verses later that, that he tried to kill David. And, and so, so you need to understand, people of God, that, that, that it's not about having such an accurate word in your mouth as much as it is. It's having an accurate heart towards God and what he's called you to do. And so we need to discernment. We need to discernment to know those who are to be with us. We need to know, uh, um, have discernment enough to, to know uh, those that don't need to be walking with us. We need to have discernment with those that we need to be walking with. We need discernment because discernment, if we're gonna maximize the plan of God, we're going to have to have discernment, glory to God. And so, let, let, let me keep reading this because I, I, I want to really get into prayer and I could be on this all night. With knowledge of what Israel ought to do, ought to do. So when I, so, so when I understand the times, when, when, I, when I understand those times with knowledge, I'll have the ability to do. I have the ability to do. I, I, have, I, have, ability, I, I, I have ability to do and execute. Understand this, the plan of God is to be executed in the earth. The, the, we advance the kingdom of God through the execution of the will of God in the earth. I'm gonna say that again. We're, we execute, when we execute the will of God in the earth, we advance the kingdom of God in the earth. And we need to understand that, 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 that the will of God must be done. We, we cannot settle for just talking about the will of God and, and talking about what's going to happen and what we believe is going to happen. We must see things done. We must see things done. Matthew chapter six and 10 says, Jesus says in the disciples prayer, and understand Matthew six is not the Lord's prayer. The Lord's prayer is actually found in John 17. But when we see in Matthew 6, we see the disciples' prayer. And the disciples, part of the disciples' prayer is the prayer is, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is, or in the Greek, the word as means just like it is in heaven. We have authorization from heaven to be channels of the will of God in the earth. When well, you got born again, that's why you got born again. That's why you got born again, because you cannot fulfill destiny without being born again. And we're not talking about going into your mother's womb a second time, but we're talking about a spiritual birth, because we understand in Genesis chapter three, sin came in. Man, man, man fell because of the decision of Adam. It was not your decision. It was the decision of Adam, but we thank God that God still had a plan. Oh God, although Adam failed, thank God that God still had a plan and his plan was not over because the failure of man isn't that good. Isn't that good news to know that the plan of God was not over. And even today, you need to understand that the plan of God is not over uh, uh, because of the failure of men. That the plan of God is still active and it's alive. Glory to God. So we don't want to miss those times. We don't want to miss our, our, the Kairos moments of God and what he's doing in the earth and and, and we, we want to look at one more scripture um and then we're getting ready to pray 
John 5. John 5, and, 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 and I'm going to read um, just a few verses. Um, John 5 and 5, I'm going to start there. A man was there. Let's go up to verse 4. For an angel of the Lord went down at a certain seasons and Kairos in the pool and stirred up the water. Whoever then first after the stirring up of the waters stepped in was made well from whatever disease with which he was afflicted. A man was there who had been ill for 38 years when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time in that condition. He said to him, do you wish to be made well? The man answered and said, sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred, but while I'm coming, another one steps down before me. Now we need to understand this. Now, now most of us, when we preach this, we say that the man had, uh, the scripture says that the man had an infirmity 38 years. It does not say that he was sitting at the pool 38 years. And, and so what, what, what we need to learn in this scripture this man should have got what he, he should have got his healing a long time ago. We don't know how long he was at the pool, but because of his decision, he missed his moment. He missed his season because he was just sitting without moving. And then when he gave, when he gave, uh, when, when the Lord began to deal with him and began to speak to him, the first thing he began to do is blame man. Isn't it, isn't it in, in the earth? We, we see that a lot. People blaming men for actions instead of taking personal responsibility for their actions. Listen, uh, what someone else does is not your, your decision. That's their decision. And, and we need to realize, people of God, this is a season that we must learn. We must learn this, people of God. Stop letting people's decisions get you off course, their own personal decisions. We must make a decision on, on making accurate decisions that will release the timing of God and cause us to discern the right timing to move and make things, cause things to happen because we must understand this, deserting the right time, the right titles is an important part of the Christian life. You will miss important things because you don't understand the time. You miss the timing. You miss the timing. And so we want to pray on this evening and um, we're going to believe God for some great things on tonight glory to God. And so we want to get ready, glory to God. And so we want to get ready and begin to pray uh, because the plan of God is working together. The part of working together is the word synergy, synergy. And I want you to get that in your heart, that, the, that there's a synergy, there's a synergy, there's a coming together, that, that there's a coming together. I believe that these next days, uh, as we, we come together, there's a synergy. There's a synergy that, that, that the move of God happens in a synergy. And so let's get ready to pray and believe God and, and cause us uh, when we discern the seasons that we must submit to God's timing and the season. Don't fight against what God is doing. That's, that's one of the things we must understand because sometimes we fight against what God's doing when we don't have proper understanding. And so let's get ready to pray because I could be on that all night and all day. Glory to God. And so, Father, we thank you. We honor you because you're God and there's no God beside you. And Father, we thank you for this day called Thursday. And Father, we thank you for your people, oh God. God, we thank you today. For this is the day that you've made, and Father, we have chosen to rejoice and be glad in it, Father. Father, we thank you today that you have caused us to come together again on this fourth day, Father. And Father, we thank you for the expectation 
of your of your moving of what you're doing oh god god we know you are doing great things in the earth and you're up to something good even though we're seeing bad all around us but father we thank you for the good father we thank you for the good of you oh god god you're a good good father father and we thank you today, God. God, we thank you that the things of the world did never changes your character towards us, Father. Father, you're the same today, yesterday, and forever. And for that, we thank you. And we give you glory and we give you honor, oh God. God, we thank you today for what you're doing, oh God. God, we thank you today for the execution of your will in our lives, oh God. We thank you today, oh God, for, 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 for what you're going to do. Father, we thank you today. And we pray on today, oh God, for discernment, Father. Discernment, Father. We pray for discernment. And we, we do a prophetic gesture tonight. And we lay hands on our eyes. And God, we say, touch our eyes again, Father, that we may see how you see, Father, in the name of Jesus. Cause us, oh God, to, 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 to anoint our eyes, to cause us to see um, what you, how you see things and not how we see them, Father. Because we know if we see the things that you're doing in the earth through our eyesight, it is only limited in its failing. But Father, we thank you that you have the higher and the greater insight insight and in in eyesight father and so father we take on your eyesight on tonight oh god and god we thank you in the name of jesus that we have discernment oh god god we thank you lord for the timing uh, 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 that, that we will do what you've called us to do father father we thank you that we're going to arise in our assignment oh god in the name of jesus calls us to arise in our assignments and what you call us to do oh god god for for, for may, may it be apostolic ministry may it be pastoral ministry may it be prophetic teaching evangelistic father well, uh, uh, or, or may it be other things father but teach us to arise and cause us to arise in our place oh god god we take our place in the earth oh god we take our our place in the earth as 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 kings in, in the earth and father as priests in the earth oh god in the name of jesus oh god god we thank you tonight oh god for we thank you for this time oh god we thank you for what you're doing oh god god we thank you oh god in the name of jesus we pray for every leader oh god we pray for every leader oh god every senior leader that even in this time father that, that, that they will arise in this time, oh God. And God, because we know that, that that real authentic leaders are born for such a time as this, Father. Cause them to arise even out of the ashes, even, even out of mourning, oh God. God, we, come, we pray right now that they arise now in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, thank you for accurate connections. Thank you for accurate links to bring us into your purpose and your plan, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we disconnect ourselves from any artificial connection every any any um, connection that is is that would come to bring distraction and derailment oh god we break I and mean, we, we we sever those connections now in the name of jesus father we thank you on today lord god for what you're doing father we thank you that we have an ear to hear for what you are saying father father we thank you oh god my god hallelujah glory to god and father we thank you mm. We thank you for your plans, oh God. We thank you for your plans, God. We thank you that your plans are great. Your plans are good towards us, Father. Father, we wrap, we wrap our hearts around and we declare, Father, the plans that you have for us are only good, Father. You have no bad plans, Father. The plans that you have for, towards us are that of peace and not evil. And Father, we thank you that our, the, for the expected end. And we declare, Father, tonight that the expected end is already expecting us, Father. And so we arise in the expectancy and we move in the journey, oh God. God, we move in the journey. We get back in the journey, oh God. God, we move in, in the journey with focus. We move in the, in the journey with, with, with timing and accuracy in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we thank you tonight. We thank you that we move, Father. Father, we move in the pace with you, O oh God. God, we thank you that you are with us, O oh God. God, we thank you, O oh God. As David say, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And the Father, although there's evil in the land, Father, we thank you that you are with us, O oh God. God, and we thank you that you're going to cause us to walk through this, Father. And Father, where you're leading us, Father, where 
where you're causing us to walk, Father, we know we will not fail. We will not falter. And so, Father, we thank you on tonight, oh God. God, we thank you that we will submit, oh God. God, call submission in our hearts, Father, to your will and to your plan, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, oh God. God, we thank you. We submit ourselves to you. God, we submit ourselves to one another. We submit ourselves to leadership, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we thank you. Oh God, I feel the Father, we thank you tonight. Father, we thank you for Kairos moments. Hmm. We thank you for Kairos moments and Kairos seasons, Father, that as they come, that we have the ability to see them when they come. And Father, we, we thank you that we're going to master those moments. So God calls us not to miss those moments. God calls us not to miss those moments because of laziness. Uh, calls us not to miss those moments, oh God, uh, uh, um, out of being inconsistent and, and not being persistent, oh God, in the name of Jesus, calls us not to miss those moments because we're being inactive and lazy, oh God, but calls us to arise, Father. Father, we thank you that you're raising up an arising company, Father in the name of Jesus that will arise into your plans and to your purposes, oh God. God, we thank you right now, God, for this Kairos moment of healing. We thank you for this Kairos moment of provision. We thank you for this Kairos moment of fulfilling the prophecy. We thank you for this Kairos moment, oh God, for what the people of God need to stand, that, that they stand in need of, that he has listened to me tonight, Father. Father, we thank you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus, Father. Father, we thank you tonight in the name of Jesus. We thank you tonight, oh God, that, that, that we pray, oh God, I sense it's tonight, uh, we pray for every builder, oh God, every builder, every builder, every builder that you're sending the, 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 the workers, the workers, the workers, the workers, the workers, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for sending the workers to Destiny uh, uh, um, House and, and, and to Pastor Gates' ministry and to Pastor Stevenson's ministry and all those uh, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for workers, Father. Father, we thank you for those that have the ability to come to side, aside and work with the set men and women. And God, in Jesus' name, Father, we thank you, oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, for, for, for vision, Father. Father, we thank you for vision. We thank you for opening up our eyes again, Father, that we may see how you see in the name of Jesus. Calls us to see how you see, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this moment, these moments, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we will not faint because of time, the timing that we have said, oh God. God, your word declares to us, Father, that we're not to be weary uh, in well-doing. Oh God, but in due season, we're going to reap if we faint not, Father. Father, I, I, I come against that spirit of weariness and faintness in the hearts of your people, oh God. And, and Father, we thank you. I speak encouragement. I speak encouragement to them, Father. I speak fortification to them, oh God. And God, I, I thank you that they're going to get back in the race, oh God. God, I thank you right now, Father. Calls not the harvesters, those that have harvest, those that have a reaping mentality. Calls them not to quit, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we thank you tonight for what you're doing, Father. Oh God, we declare, oh God, we declare your will in our lives to be done, Father. Father, we thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, oh God, for things are working together, Father. Things are working together. We, we, we stop magnifying what you're doing, what the devil is doing. We start magnifying what you're doing, Father. Father, we thank you as things are working together according to your plan and to your purpose, so oh God, in the name of Jesus, in our lives, Father. So Father, we thank you. Oh my God. Hey God, thank you. Well, we thank you for what you're doing, Father. We thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we thank you for even this time of voting, Father. And Father, we thank you that, that, that you will cause uh, us to make the right decisions when we go vote in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, in the name of Jesus, let us be led by you, Father. Oh God, Father, because we know, Father, that, that, that what you want to do on the earth is greater than what, uh, a man than men, Father, because we know if we put our faith in men, um, your word lets us know, Father, that, that, that we're going to be discouraged and we're going to get hurt. Uh, and the Bible lets us know that curse be 
the man that, that makes man his hope father. So we don't make man our hope, but father, we thank you that you'll cause us to make the right decisions of God in the name of Jesus, father, father, thank you. Oh God. Oh God. Thank you tonight, father. Oh God. We thank you tonight. We give you the praise. We give you the glory tonight. Father, we step into this new season. Oh God, this season that we've never walked in before. We step into it now, father, father, we, we cast away all excuses, father for they've been nailed to the cross, Father. We, 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 we don't use excuses anymore concerning your plan and concerning your purpose, Father. Father, I, I, so even for some of those tonight that are listening, Father, that, that, that you've told, you gave them work concerning what you called them to do, Father. Father, we take the excuses off of them right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we take the, 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 the I can't do off of them, Father. And we say they can do because you've put it into their hands. And Father, so we thank you even on tonight, Lord God. God, we thank you all for the moving of your spirit, oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We expect great things to happen in this season and we call them forth, Father. We expect great things to happen in this season and we call them forth, Father. In the name of Jesus, we align our mouths with your mouth, Father, and we only speak what you want us to speak because your word declares to us in Proverbs 18, 21, that death and life are in the power of the tongue, Father. And so, Father, we speak life now, Father. We speak life all around us, Father. We speak life, oh God. Oh God, we speak life, oh God, my God. We speak life. We speak the Zoe life of God, the life that you have ordained and planned, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we speak the Zoe life, Father, in our ministries, Father, in our homes, in our families, in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the Zoe life. Father, Father, we know that the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. But you have come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly, Father. So we thank you for abundant life, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, oh God. We thank you that we're walking in your purpose. We thank you, oh God, that, 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 that you're connecting us with the right people. We thank you, oh God, that we will not miss each other, oh God. But Father, we thank you, oh God, that we're going to come and and connection with each other, Father. Father, we thank you for strong connections, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for strong connections, strong relationships in this 2020, in this year of 2020, oh God. In the name of Jesus, thank you that iron, iron sharpens iron, Father. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we thank you, oh God, even tonight, oh God. Mm for the great things that you're doing, oh God, for the great things that you've declared, even on this fourth day, Father. And we thank you. We move in this fourth day in expectation. We move in this fourth day in, in, in expectation of what you're going to do, Father. Father, we thank you today, oh God, for what you're going to do and what you're doing now, Father. Father, we thank you, oh God, for moving through this nation, Father. We thank you for moving through this world, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this awakening, Father. Oh God, I thank you for the awakening awakening. Oh God, I thank you for the awakening of your people. Uh, I thank you for the awakening of prayer. I thank you for the awakening of purpose. I thank you for the awakening of your plan in the lives of people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, yeah, we give you the praise. Oh Oh, Masatarabahata, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. So we thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for what you de declared and what you said on tonight, Father. We thank you that we're going to hide it in our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we thank you that the word is already settled, Father. Mm. And we thank you for the manifestation now in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we thank you. Oh God, we thank you, God. Right now, we thank you. We, we have a thank you in our mouths, oh God. Where we're at, Father, we have a thank you in our mouths. And Father, we thank you for the great things that you're doing. We thank you tonight, oh God. God, we thank you tonight that every home that is represented here, Father, Father, every home that is represented here, Father, we thank you, oh God. As, I, as, I, as I'm just looking at each uh, looking at each person, I, I'm just touching your homes. I'm touching you as symbolic for your homes and your family, that God is going to be doing great things in your family. No, no deaths, no heart 
hurt, harm, or danger in the name of Jesus. We come into agreement now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Save, Father, save to the utmost, even in this season. Let this be a, a season of salvation. Let this be a season of healing in the name of Jesus, Father. Let this be a season of increase. I speak increase in the name of Jesus. I speak increase, increase of, of the gifts, increase of finances, increase of fruit in the name of Jesus. I speak increase in the name of Jesus. I declare that what has been little is going to grow in the name of Jesus, Father. I thank you for the small things. I thank you for the small things you've done. And, but Father, I thank you also for the great things that you've been ready to do in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We come to agreement with your plan and your purpose, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that abundance uh, the abundance of God. We could declare the abundance of God. We declare the favor of God in the name of Jesus. So Father, we step in now in the name of Jesus. We step in now into this new season. We step in now, Father. We declare the lack is over. We declare the shortage is over. And we, Father, we thank you now because your word declares unto us in, Je in, in, in um, Judges 17, uh, Judges 18 and 10, that there is no shortage of anything in the earth. So, Father, we thank you that there's plenty, Father. We call it forth now. We call forth abundance. We call forth right now in the name of Jesus, over and above, Father. We call over right now in the name of Jesus, and we expect testimonies. Mm. Oh, God, we expect testimonies of what you're going to do, Father, in the name of Jesus. Even this week, Father, we thank you for it, Father. Cause those, cause the phones to ring with favorable outcomes in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you again, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we're not looking for a stimulus check because we know you can give much more than a stimulus check, what the government wants to give. But, Father, we thank you for what you're going to do, Father, because you're going to overdo, you're, you're, you're going to do over uh, what any government government can do, Father, in the name of Jesus. Our hope is not in Washington. Our hope is in you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus. We blow, we blow, O God, we blow winds of finances, Father, even on tonight to every person that's listening. Father, we blow winds of finances. We blow them. We blow them in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we thank you for moving your people to another tax bracket in the name of Jesus, Father. Lord, we thank you. Rest Father, we thank you. We call it in now, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we thank you that, oh God, we thank you. We thank you. Unexpected resources are coming in the name of Jesus. Un uh, unexpected supply is coming in the name of Jesus. People are touching. God is touching the people's heart. Oh God, to sow into you in the name of Jesus. As you have sown into others, God is going to cause others to sow into you in the name of Jesus. I declare it over your people tonight in the name of Jesus, Father. In the name of Jesus. I thank you tonight, Father. Abundance and running over in the name of Jesus. This is our moment. This is our season. And we arise now. Mm. God, hallelujah. We arise now. We arise now in the name of Jesus. We arise now. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. We arise now thanking you for what you're doing. Thank you, oh God, for the breakthrough. We thank you, oh God. We arise now, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, I thank you that if anyone on here has court cases, Father, where they're believing God and they have cases concerning court, oh God, that, that, that the money must be released, Father. Father, I decree now that you touch now, even during this pandemic, you release those finances in the name of Jesus, in the courtroom, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I declare it to be so now, in the name of Jesus. I declare those finances now. I decree the hope back to, to, to stop now, Father. I decree now that you're turning it, Father, that the, that you're going to touch the judges, oh God, that they said, we've got to move this case, Father. And Father, I thank you that the people are going to get what they deserve, Father. Don't let them be cheated, cheapened, in the name of you. Don't let them be cheap, cheapened out of what you want to do for them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you now. Mm. And we give you the glory and we give you the praise and it is done in Jesus name. Come on, clap your hands and give God the praise. 
Come on, clap your hands and give God the praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give God the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to you. Oh, we praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, yes. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the most high. I literally Hallelujah. saw as we prayed tonight that there were some people that were listening that had cases in court that dealt with some finances that God is going to release those finances Amen. to them. Amen. And you're going to see the hand of God move for you says the spirit of the God, of God and we give him the praise glory to God hallelujah, hallelujah. glory to God oh, hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah you're going to see the favor of God yes breakthrough yes God God said do not forget the house of God yes, where he's planted you amen God said, when it comes in, pay your tithe. <laughs> Don't shortchange God, <laughs> but pay your tithe and be a blessing to the woman of God and watch and see what God is going to do. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Back to you, Apostle. All right. All right, prophet, I feel God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, I feel a sweet move of God. Yes. Hallelujah, thank you, yes. Jesus. There's so much joy yes. in my spirit, hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Come, can we just give the Lord praise? For all that he has done. Hallelujah. 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 Unmute your mic and let's yes. the Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. Come on, let's join in with yes. our Facebook Thank family. Him. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. We Break want you. to encourage everybody on yes. Facebook to join in yes. and align God. yourself with the move yes. of God. Yes. Wow. Hallelujah. This is Glory a Kairos God. moment. Yes. 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 God and the Kairos. prayer strategy tonight is the yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We discern, we discern. Yes. God is aligning his yes. remnant to, yes. be in the, yes. to be anointed as the sons of Issachar were. Thank you. Yes. 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 To not just to be in the right place at the right mm -hmm. time, but yes. God wants us to be strategic. Hallelujah. Yes. And to be in the right place to ascertain everything that was mm -hmm. intended for us. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. you need to hear God. Hallelujah. Yes. I hear the Lord saying to be in the right place to suddenly get everything. My God. That's intended. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I wish somebody would give God an intentional praise. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory. Yes. Sometimes we stop at the shout. Oh God. Hallelujah. The Lord said, Don't stop at just an ordinary breakthrough. Yeah. Oh, God, don't stop at just an overflow. Hallelujah. Because you got out of the woods. The Lord said, His intention, hallelujah, is then some. Ha! 
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, when the enemy comes in like a flood, Shonda, yeah. the Lord said to remind you of his word, that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Yeah. Yeah. No weapon, woman of God, no yes. weapon, woman of God, that is formed against you, you shall, shall be able, be to, able prosper. to prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. One more time. Hallelujah. Give the Lord an intentional yes. praise. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 yes, what we could imagine. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. God, Alan. Yes. Oh, come on, go up in one. Yes, Jesus. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Yes, God. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, sir. Oh, shut up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Glory to God. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, oh, my Lord. God. Yes. Yes. Waller. You have anything else, sir? I I I want I I'm I'm touching the Facebook page, mm -hmm. and I want to pray a corporate prayer with those that are watching mm -hmm. on Facebook. Father, we thank you for these that are on Facebook. Yes, sir. And Father, I thank you even right now as I'm laying hands on this Facebook page that Father, that you're doing great things, Father. And Father, I thank you for the moving of your Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you right now. And I give you the praise because I sense there's some people here that are look, looking, at, looking at us on Facebook, that they are walking through some major things and they're believing God. And the Lord says to tell you, uh, I keep seeing the, 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 the I, I keep seeing this name, um, Dana McNear, and God says to tell you, woman of God, that it's not over. God say, dream again. God say He's picking up the pieces of the past, and the Lord says to tell you that you've not been forgotten. God said, you're in a between season, but God's going to bring you to your season of fulfillment, the fulfillment of prophecy. God says to tell you that what has been spoken to you has not been a lie, but it has taken time. And God says to tell you tonight, it is going to happen just like 
God said, arise in encouragement, arise in joy, for I am with you, said the Lord, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you for these tonight. Now, I come to agreement, Father, with, with, with those that need a move of God. Some people are listening to, to me tonight. You need a move of God like yesterday. Father, I thank you for the release now. In Jesus' name, I thank you now. In Jesus' name, it's done. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Ah, sha -sha Glory to God. Go ahead, prophet. <laughs> hallelujah. I, I, I just see someone tonight, and I don't know who this is for, but you've been having problems in your ears with your hearing. And the Lord says he's touching you in your hearing tonight. There's also someone you've been having problems with your digestive system. The Lord said he's moving in that. The, the Lord also mm -hmm. says there's someone tonight you've had. Uh, th 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 there's there's some kind of system, some, some kind of sy symptoms of gout that you deal with at times. The Lord said he is taking the inflammation out of your legs, said the Lord. Uh, also, ahead, uh, glory to God. I, I, I hear the, the Lord oh, also Brad, saying Brad. there's someone you've been having, you, you go through seasons with, with major migraine headaches. The Lord is also touching you. God said also tonight, there's someone that, that, that uh, um, there's some, some female troubles that you've been having. God says he's touching you tonight. God, there's a healing anointing here tonight that God is doing tonight. Oh God. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for what you're doing, Father. Father, I thank you tonight. Father, thank you tonight. Thank you tonight. I don't know who this is. I don't know exactly who this for. This could be someone that, that is listening to me on Facebook uh, or on here, but God said there's someone that's listening to me. You've been trying to conceive and it's been hard, but God said he's going to turn it around and healing is going to come to your womb, said the spirit of God. There's also someone that um, the Lord also says hmm, to tell you, the Lord also tell, tells me to tell someone tonight, you've been having some, some problems with sleeping. Your sleeping pattern has been off, but your sleeping pattern is going to be normal. Uh, Peace is your portion, says the Spirit of God. And it is so in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. My God, hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Glory this is to God. Sweet spirit. Go ahead, sir. Glory to God. No, you know, I, I just wanted to make an announcement before yes. I, I, I forget. Uh, tomorrow we have a guest intercessor that's coming on uh, from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, a good friend of mine, Dr. Diane Clark, you guys are going to be blessed by her. She's going to come tomorrow night and, and, and be the guest intercessor. She is uh, over uh, the Kingdom Life Training Center uh, there in Jacksonville. Powerful woman of God, powerful apostolic teacher powerful voice and so you're going to be blessed by her tomorrow so definitely look forward to that and she's excited about coming on i talked to her this week about coming the lord led me um, to contact her we were talking she graciously consents consistent uh consistent for coming on and being on tomorrow night and so i even talked to her today and uh She's looking forward to coming on and God used her in a powerful and mighty way. So you guys are going to be blessed. We're going to be blessed tomorrow by her ministry. Amen. Amen. We are looking forward to the continuation of what God is going to continue to do with us. We are looking forward to hearing what the Lord has to say um, through um, Dr. Diane uh, Clark. We thank God for you, Prophet Joseph Wallace. Bless you. And we certainly are continuing to give God praise for all that has been said and done. Glory to God in Jesus's holy name. I want to ask um, either uh, 
Dr. Gates, do you have anything? No, I feel the power of God. I mean, the de declarations and what we are in expectation of what God will do. Our eyes have been cleared and the vision and the focus is intact and we can expect everything that the prophet has spoken and decreed over us tonight. Amen. In Jesus name, I just say, amen. Amen. It is so and so it shall it be. Yes, ma'am. Prophet Joseph Brown. Do you um, have any? Presently, uh, no apostle. Um, there's a lady on that, that's been reaching out to us and I saw her on the feed, Loretta Hill. And the only thing I had for her, I was gonna actually pray, I was gonna call her, I mean, you know, reach out to her directly offline, but I'll just take this opportunity just to speak, speak. deliverance to her natural body. There has been several cycles of sickness that has, been through the bloodline and for some reason unbeknownst to me at the moment it's been a super cycle to attach to take her out and i come against that demon and the cycle of death that's trying to ravage loretta hill um elder dead please um correct me if that's the correct name i think it's loretta yes it is yes um, yes yes, yes. yes. Thank you. I speak to that body. I speak to the atmosphere that surrounds her. And I speak against those who are trying to take her and to receive death when the Lord has command life in the name of Jesus Christ. Loretta Hill, speak to your atmosphere now. In the name of Jesus, I command life and complete wholeness and a reversal of what the devil tried to do. It is not time for you to die, but it's time for you to reach up and grab God and say, I'm going to live and declare the words of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And we agree with God. Thank you, Prophet Brown. We speak life to you, Lady Loretta Hill. Glory to God. And we speak life to all those that are on this Zoom, as well, you know as, what? Our, uh, uh, as, well uh, as our Facebook family. And we thank God for you, Prophet. You know, I, I, I looked at a name and I, don't, and I know I haven't ministered to her this week, but I want to minister to Tracy Lewis. I saw, I saw you, your name. And, and the Lord said, get ready for a shifting to come into your life. Get ready, the Lord says, to tell you that even in this season, he has heard your prayer. He has heard your supplication that's been in private. The Lord says to tell you that you're not forgotten. Things are getting ready to move, God said. The Lord says to tell you that, 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 they're, gonna, that they're going to move. And the Lord said he, he, he is going to put you in the right place. God says to tell you that even in this season, the prayers, I see, I see answers to prayers that are yes. coming said the Lord, the answers to prayers, the answers to prayers that, that yes. you've been praying to God. And God said, even the spirit that has tried to overwhelm you, God said, he's taking that off now. And God said, he's putting the garments of praise on you for the spirit of heaviness. And it is so in Jesus' name. Yes, thank amen, you. amen, and amen. God yes. bless you. Hallelujah. We thank God for the restoration of joy with our dear sister, mm -hmm. spiritual daughter, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Prophet Waller. Amen. For lending your gift. And we want to welcome everybody that is watching us on Facebook to please join us on tomorrow night for night number five for our prayer vigil of unity. Glory to God. 20 days of travailing. Hallelujah. We thank God for all that has been said and done up until this point. And now we want to close with just a couple of, of encouraging words. We want you to continue to practice safe and social distancing, continue to wear your masks, continue to check to make sure that your voters registration is intact. And we want everybody to vote, amen. We want everybody to vote. This is a very significant election, regardless of what the imperfections are in this country. As the body of Christ, it is our job to stand in the gap, hallelujah, and to pray not just that God's will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven, for we know that that is first and foremost, but we also need to practice taking our rightful place that our voices will be heard so that faith without works also is dead. And it is time for the body of Christ, hallelujah, to have a voice economically, socially, politically, hallelujah, that the spirit of God would breathe not just on this country, but in this world system, that the things that are designed to work against his people would be shifted, hallelujah, in Jesus's name. It is time for God's people to take their rightful place and to take back everything that the enemy has stolen from us, spiritually, emotionally, socially, and economically. Yes. Therefore, yeah. I am encouraging and asking for all those who are not registered, even if you've never voted and you are at least 18 years of age, check the laws in your state. In New York, it is not too late to register. I believe the last day is October 9th. Amen. So check the, de the deadline for you to register, but please join with us. This is a part of the clarion call that God gave to me to end each night yes. with the urgency to speak to his people about getting involved in the systems that have demonic strongholds attached to it and command them in Jesus' name to break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we must be in position to bring back the glory, hallelujah, to God's house. The earth is the Lord's, mm -hmm. the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Amen. <laughs> so I'm encouraging you all to vote. Those that have always voted, continue to be fervent. And those that are not certain of what your position is, please check it out with the Board of Elections. Amen? Amen. Amen. We want to also be spiritual and civic-minded at the same time. Amen. Glory to God. We are preparing to hear what God has to say through his woman servant, Dr. Diane Clark. And we are most gracious that she um, is um, an invited guest of Prophet Joseph Waller. Prophet Waller, thank you for your yes. four nights of service. And we look forward to seeing you and uh, Dr. Diane on tomorrow. And we give God glory for all that has been said and done and all that will continue to be said and done in Jesus' holy name. Now, Prophet awesome. Waller, mm -hmm. We're Amen. in your hands, sir. Amen. Well, thank God for all of you. And let's pray. Let's believe God. Believe God's done some powerful things tonight. Father, we thank you tonight. Uh, what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard, Father, calls this not to be taken away from us. We hide it in our heart, Father. And Father, we thank you for a greater move on tomorrow night, Father. Let us come in expectation of what you're going to do. Let us sleep in peace, Father. And Father, when we wake up, uh, uh, calls us to wake up in greater peace in Jesus' name, Father. Father, we thank you. We bind all attacks of the enemy in the name of Jesus that would try to come against us right now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen. Amen. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.